Oh my goodness, here we go, here we go. It kind of let up a little bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Tight lines, tight lines. Ooh, no way, no way. I did not expect this over here. Get in here, get in here. Here we go, the behemoth. We got How's it going everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub, joined sometimes by my good friend King Goon. What were you doing? Huh? What were you doing? Are you resting? How's your day going? When are we gonna get snow? Are, when are we gonna get snow, Born? Huh? Are we excited for snow? He is so tired. Look at that face. <laughs> he is out of it. Oh, we yawn. Okay, here we go, bud. Okay, I know a lot of you are gonna be really excited about this because I know you have been asking for this one on the live streams for a long time and we're finally here, everyone. We're finally in Russia. That was, I don't know if that was a good Russian accent or not, but hey, we are here. Oktuba River in Russia, level 46 to get here. And by golly, we're level 47 right now, so we uh, we haven't been here for too long. Um, first time doing this. Let's take a look at the fish here. First off, we got the asp. Now this one is interesting. This is uh, this is a fish I haven't even, uh, I've never seen, never fished for. It's, a, it's of the carp family, which explains the scales. That's pretty cool. It honestly looks like it's gonna be a pretty decent fighting fish. I mean, it goes up to 25 pounds, which is a pretty decent sized fish. So that'll be pretty cool. The beluga, now that is a big one. We're definitely gonna need to uh, make an attempt to catch one of those. Uh, hopefully not as hard to catch as uh, some of the other ones we've struggled with in the past, the sturgeon uh, and whatnot. Look at this. We got the we got a couple roaches, bream, chub here, uh, bleak. Now that's interesting. Another bream, common carp, up to unique there. Very nice. We'll have to go after one of those. Throw out a carp rod for that. Uh, European perch, seen that before. Gudgeon. Now that's an interesting one. Gudgeon. Uh, we have Ides here, of course. We've seen those before as well. Monkey goby, another goby fish. Love those gobies, don't you know? Northern Pike, seen that. Prussian carp, round goby. There's that other goby. Uh, Silver bream, tench. Volga Xander. Now, that's an interesting looking Xander. For some reason, just reminds me of a dinosaur. Just rawr. Uh, interesting there. Wells catfish up to unique. Now that is one we'll definitely have to target and I am prepared. So let's, uh, yeah, continue doing the Xander and the Zage. Now that's interesting. Zige. I don't know how to pronounce that, but hey, very nice. Now that we've gone over all that stuff, uh, definitely the Wells catfish sturgeon. We're going to have to go for some of these other fish. We'll see what the missions, uh, mission details are all about. Looks like we're going to be going after a lot of the smaller fish first off, which is pretty common. So that'll be interesting to try and catch those while we're doing all this stuff of course um, but yeah let's go over our equipment first off in number one we have the Troy 19 foot 8 that's a long pole everyone and this is just to get some of the smaller fish that are in the exploration mission um, so while we're trying to catch some bigger ones for some XP and some money uh, we'll definitely have to try and catch some of the smaller fish with this one uh, semolina ball is on there right now with the number six hook so hopefully that works out pretty well uh, in number two we actually bought a new rod here this is the bass caster seven foot ten I realized I was using a 17 pound rod with a 23 pound reel and I just decided, you know what, might as well just go up all the way to the top, especially if we're going to be trying to catch some 25 pound asp, it might help to have, uh, you know, good line on there. So we have 23 pound line and medium spoons. That's going to help us out there and, you know, help us out in the future as well, because that's a good, that's a good bait casting. Uh, reel there. Um, now we have the River Tech Zeus. This is my big like salmon fishing pole. Uh, we have this. I'm not sure if we'll like really need to use this, um, but we have it anyway. Number four here we have one match rod. I realize this is a river. It's gonna have current, so match rods are gonna be kind of annoying to use, but it is a good rod. So I thought we would uh, kind of put some stuff on here, catch uh, some northern pike or catfish, whatever it might go for. It we'll just have to see. Um, if it gets too annoying, we might just have to put it away. Number five here we have a uh, carp rod. Now I have some other things here. If they aren't biting on this, we do a PVA mesh and a flat feeder there that we can put 
some bait on if we need to. But for now, we're just going to go with a sinker and a citrus sinking boily uh, setup for now. I think that should work just fine. Number three uh, carp hook on there and 40 pound carp leader. Hopefully that works just fine. Number six, we have the cab boxer eight foot six. Um, that is a 47 pound rod, 46 pound reel there with a 44 pound fluoro line. And uh, we have a titanium leader on here. I'm not sure if it'll be necessary, but we do have it on there just in case. And right now we have a number eight dot hook which we might change uh depending upon what we're fishing for sturgeon uh catfish i believe from what i've seen uh the wells catfish you can get away with a 10 knot hook um but with the sturgeon i think you need to go down to like a six knot hook is what i've seen so the, uh, that'll be good to, to know i have both of those hooks in my inventory so that should be good lastly as you probably saw in the last episode we have the heavy chaser nine foot six 52 pound rod it's a big one uh bottom rod there and uh the ambusher 9500 uh brand new rod brand new reel basically for that last episode uh 52 pounds each so uh this this is what we'll be using to target a big beluga sturgeon or a big wells catfish we will just have to see i have duck muscle meat on there now but i have lots of bait to try out including crawfish and large cut bait and large minnows so you know if you come in well actually i had to buy more large minnows if you come in and you say hey uh, try some large minnows or try some crawfish. We can certainly do that because I have some today and that's a good plug-in for tonight's stream. Of course, it's 12-2 uh, at the moment, so this night will already pass, but I try to upload these on Wednesday, so make sure you show up to our Wednesday live stream, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central. Hope to see you there. It's a lot of fun. Come uh, fish with us. Add me on Fishing Planet BZ Hub, of course, up at the top. And uh, come fish with us. Uh, tonight, we will definitely be fishing October River. I'm not sure what we'll be doing next week. But we will see. Now there is one problem here. I realize my fish cache large only goes up to 110 pounds. So if we catch something larger than that, we won't be able to keep it. But it will be cool to catch a really big fish. So I'm I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> I'll take I'll take the hit getting a really big fish, but not being able to keep it. It's fine by me. Makes for a good video. Anyway, with that out of the way, everyone, I think it's time. Let's go to October River, everyone. All right, here we are, October River. Pretty cool. There's four different locations locations here. I can see where you can get out with a boat. That's pretty interesting. Um, as always with new places, I like to get out with random people in the server. That way I can see where people are fishing and base my fishing off of that. Uh, first off, we have the Chaika Creek here. Chaika Creek. Um, it says that there are Caspian Roach, Common Bream, Xander, Aspen, Wells, Catfish. Very nice. That'll be good to see. We are going to be going after some Wells Catfish, so that'll be interesting. Um, here is the boat dock. Let's see what we have here. Uh, Asp, Caspian Roach, Tench, Sage, um, silver bream, Xander, and many other fish. Okay, that's good to know. Docks, uh, obviously fish like uh, hiding underneath docks and whatnot. Uh, resting waters, blue bream, Volga pike, birch eyed, European carp, chub, and northern pike, just to list a few. Okay, so kind of, uh, must be kind of reedy or something, weedy over there. A uh, good place for the carp to hang out. That's good to see. And then lastly, we have all hail the pioneers. Okay, all hail the pioneers. What an ambient place to spend the time of Xander, Northern Pike, Asp, Wells, Catfish, as you gaze into the deep murky waters flowing by into the distance, settling relentlessly as time itself. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's good. And uh, I believe it's right next to the bridge. So that's, that's good to see. Um, always fishing right next to, if there's ever like pillars in the water, a uh, good place for fish to hide away from the current. So that's good to see a bridge going through the water there. If we can fish near that bridge should be a decent place for a big fish trying to catch a break from that current. So uh, first off, I think we're going to try this Chica Creek and uh, see what we can get over here, everyone. We're going to set up our rod stand and then, um, yeah, and then we'll just cast out some lures at the same time. Got my hot cocoa here. It's hot cocoa season. I know it's, it's, it's actually fairly warm outside, but it's not keeping me from drinking hot cocoa. Mm. I get I get the tub of hot cocoa mix, you know, so I can put in as much as I want. It's it's great. It's great. A little bit of cinnamon. Put one of these peppermint candy canes in there when you warm up the water. <sighs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Here we go. Atuba. I keep saying Octuba, but here we go. Atuba Vagrant. Enjoy exploring Atuba in this premises for a certain number of days to complete this challenge. Two thousand dollars, Rido. That's what I like to see. Let's uh, let's venture out, huh? I can fit this whole candy cane in my mouth. That's my favorite. I hate holding on the candy canes. So I'm already changing locations because I saw someone on the opposite side of the river and I wanted to come over here. I don't know where there they are. I was gonna say I saw someone. I don't know where they are now. Looks like they have some sort of thing. There's our uh, frankenfish. Okay, rod stand up. Let's try to catch a big one. Holy crap! I just saw. 
Watch this sinker go down. This place is deep. 38 feet. I'm feeling really bad about my, uh, Ooh, we got nibbles. Not massive, but definitely has some weight to it. Especially with this 52 pound rod. We're like steadily reeling it in, but at the same time. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this handsome guy. A trophy Wells calf is right at the start. 42 pounds, 53 inches, $2,658. Holy camole. Let's take a look with a trophy Wells catfish. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that guy. He is handsome. He know. Look how handsome your fish is. He knows happy. You can tell. He's happy. Nice. Well, there's a trophy wells. Let's keep this guy. We'll throw this back out. 10 knot hook caught a trophy wells pretty fast, everyone. All right. Now let's cast out this medium spoon here. Try to get to Xander or something. That would be really cool. Uh, I got my new rod out. Should be able to cast it fairly far. Seven foot ten. Not too shabby. Let's just throw it out here and see what we catch. Oh, look at that. Ooh, it's got a little drag on there. Ooh, he surfaced. He surfaced. Oh, I missed it. I think we might have an asp on here. Or maybe a Xander? Ooh, ooh! That's cool. That's cool. This thing is just surfacing so much. I have never seen this. I'm guessing this is an asp, just because of how much it's surfacing. Ooh, that's cool. Get in here, bro. We have another rod that's going off. Look at this! <gasps> a unique asp on our first one! <laughs> oh my god! What a pretty fish! Oh my goodness gracious! Look how pretty this fish is! Look at our Franken, our Franken kayak in the back there. That is fantastic! Can we get a nice picture? Wowie zowie! Look at that, our first asp! A unique! Holy schmoly, guys! That is incredible! I'm telling you, we are getting so many nibbles on these rods, but they're just not taking it. $2,010, 18 pounds. These asps, they, they pay pretty well. 567 XP gain, uh, that's awesome. 18 pounds and they say they get up to 25 so this honestly isn't even as big as they get it says they get six pounds heavier so math seven pounds heavier uh yeah that'll be really cool let's uh let's keep casting and try to get some more this uh this one's got large minnows on it whereas the other one has duck muscle meat and the duck muscle meat one is just constantly getting uh nibbles on i'm guessing it's not it could be a xander messing with it i've had that before happen at sander baggersy but uh, they're they're going for the duck muscle meat, so let's throw on some duck muscle meat. Getting nibbles on both right now. That's just kind of beep 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 beep. Um, here, let's just cast out right now. I think we'll just try to catch. We'll throw out. We'll th we'll throw out, bro. The crazy thing about doing a lure here is just that there's so much depth, so it's like difficult. I really wish I would have brought. I saw that there were lures that went to 30 feet, and I was like. I hate lures that go that deep. Woo, that was a pretty consistent. Ooh, what do we got? We got something. Something small. It is a little asp. Look at that, a little four pound asp. Not bad. <sighs> Top notch. Let's keep it going. Hey, that one's going. Not too big though. Slowly going up, but here we go. Yeah, a little Wells catfish. On the 10 odd hook. <laughs> I wish I could see the 10 knot hook in you know in scale next to this catfish, but yeah, that's pretty cool anyway. All right, check this up. Four hundred five hundred dollars. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it for the views. For the views. Try this crankbait out and see what we can get. Hey. Oh, I don't know what to do in that situation. <laughs> what in the world? What in the world? Are you serious right now? I was I was getting tired of reeling this lure in. And I just decided I held shift, which is like how you reel in as fast as you can. <laughs> and on the way in, we caught a unique Xander. <laughs> that is insane. Look at this pretty, uh, I've only caught a handful of Xander. In a, in a, I mean, we just caught a unique one. That is crazy. What a pretty fish though. Seriously.
Look at that, that is awesome. Yeah, uh, look at that, he nail. When's the last time you held up a unique that you d you didn't have to kneel down for? <laughs> look at that. That is awesome. What a cool fish, like a European uh, style uh, walleye or something like that. That is really cool. Seventeen hundred fifty-eight dollars, thirteen pounds. That's really that's really good, honestly. Six hundred fifty-nine experience. It was a little little light for our reel and rod combination there, but hey. That's a good fish, everyone. That's awesome. Unique Xander, unique Asp. We got a couple other uniques we need to get, but let's uh, let's keep fishing. Oh yeah, here we go. I've entered relaxation mode, as you can see. Ooh, now this is a heavy one. Oh, ooh, yes. Look at that rod bend. <gasps> Hold on, he nil. He's pulling this out. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. We were not catching anything on those darn telescopic rods. I kept throwing out different baits and we just couldn't get any small fish. Oh my goodness, here we go, here we go. It kind of let up a little bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Tight lines, tight lines. Ooh, no way, no way. I did not expect this over here. Oh great, now we got another rod going. We might just have to let that one go. Oh, but my God, look at that <gasps> prehistoric monster. We can see it in the water there. We can see it. <gasps> no way. This is so exciting. I am so excited right now. Look at him. He's just, he's just slowly drifting away all the while peeling line away from us. <laughs> this might be, this might be the biggest fish we've ever caught everyone. Honestly, it could be bigger than our tarpon. A blue crab, maybe. 119 pounds is the is the poundage to beat. This is probably gonna be way smaller than what I feel. It'll probably end up being like 80 some pounds or something like that. I don't think so though. I don't think so. I think this guy is over 100. Let's go. Get up in here. We're about sub 25. He is just fighting. He is just fighting. He's just going back and forth. Ooh! Get in here. Get in here. Here we go. The behemoth. We got him. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this fish. Seeing that nose come up. That was amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Five pounds. Five pounds short of beating. Oh, the freaking tarpon man. Oh my goodness gracious. That is insane. That is a giant fish. I can't even, how do, how do I take a picture of this? The beluga, the behemoth. That is insane. This is a monster fish all its own. I feel like this one would just eat a lot of the monster fish that we caught during the Halloween, the Halloween extravaganza. Let's look at this dude. <gasps> Boo! <laughs> he knew. Look at your fish, man. Oh my God, this is my new favorite fish by far. That is insane. That is insane. That is so, so cool. Oh my God, I can't get over how cool that is. That fish is so giant. Look at that mouth. It's such a great model too. You know, some of these fish, like some of the models in the game are kind of like, eh, it's okay. It looks like a fish. I can tell it's a fish. And they, they kind of like the, the, the game seems dated with some of the fish that they have out there, but I've been very impressed with some of the carp models, with some the the asp model that we just saw, that Xander model we just saw wasn't bad. Um, the beluga, look at this fish. I mean, it shines. It's beautiful. Ah oh, man, I cannot get over. It. Look at the little look at its little barbels just flapping away. Just <laughs> put me back in the water, please. That is amazing. Two thousand four hundred eighty-seven XP. Fantastic, $4,116, 114 pounds, 82 inches long, insanity. Insanity, I'm guessing that is our second largest fish. I wanna see where it, it like stacks up on the leader bar. I wanna see if other people's belugas are a lot bigger than this or or what, just so we can know what else is out here. Let's, uh, let's release this guy back into the depths. See you later, behemoth. There it is, secured its spot number two on our fish records, 114 pounds, obviously behind the 119 pound unique tarpon. That is insane though. Look at this fish. 
Look at that. That is amazing. Okay, so 121 seems to be the 100. If you get over 121, that's how you get into the top 100, which is good to know. Beluga Sturgeon. Mmm, down everyone. All right, I really wanted to go out here. I wanted to see what this was like. Ooh, I like this. This is nice. We're gonna get out our carp rod and uh, see if we can get a good carp out of here, everyone. Golly, that's some pretty good bites there. Take it, bro. You just, have you seen those videos of the carp just going bleh, bleh, bleh. They like suck it up and spit it out a bazillion times. Oh, the bites have become, oh, nibbles, nibbles have become a bite. There we go. Oh, I was going to say, I think we got a big one, but, uh, I raised the drag a little bit and we're, we're, we're kind of, we're getting them in now. We got a pretty decent fish though. We might have a trophy comment on our line. Look at that. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. That's, that's a fish to, to sit up straight for. <laughs> oh no, Bjorn. No, oh, Bjorn. Oh no, this carp has gotten us with a mute feature. Hey, look at that. Oh, my voice, it's back. Trophy common carp, that's amazing. Look at this guy, 21 pounds. Uh, like I said, carp model is beautiful, I'm telling you. Beautiful fish, even if it's not that big. Okay, for the time to 6 p.m. now, uh, I think we might still try to catch some carp real quick. Just just give it a little bit, little bit longer. I think I do want to move my rod stand, though, because I want to be able to fish those lily pads over there for some small fish. So let's go do that. There it goes. That's what I was looking for. Come on, throw. There we go. That's what I like to see. Might have a trophy on our hands. Get in there. Get in the net. Wicked. There we go. Trophy common carp. Actually, smaller than the last one. Still beautiful fish though. That's what I like to see. All right, it's a lot deeper than I thought it was, so I've I've changed the depth now. We're now fishing at uh, six feet or five feet, I guess, 60 inches. So five feet. Nah, yep, there we go. We're good. So we'll see if we get more bites towards the bottom of the, the lake here. There! You got a fish! You're kidding me. This isn't even one of the ones we're supposed to go for? Uh, it's unfortunate that it's not a silver bream. Gosh dang it. I threw this out way deep where these uh, little things were going on. <gasps> there we go. We got a fish. We got a fish. We got a fish. What did we get? A blue bream! <gasps> Let's go! We still need a silver bream though. Hopefully they're all just hanging out. All the bream having a little family reunion. <laughs> oh, here we go! What do we get? A silver bream! I knew it. There's a family reunion going on down there. Bream everywhere. But I tell you what, it's 7 p.m. and I told myself I was going to go somewhere at 7 p.m. So uh, let's pull out this carp rod. I'm upset that the PVA mesh got us nothing, but uh, that's okay. Let's uh, let's move on, everyone. We got things to do. All right, here we are at the bridge. I know this is a good little spot here. Which way is the current going? Looks like it's going left. The best place that I would fish if I was wanting to fish here is I would try to get it as close to that pillar over there as possible. Throw that bad boy out there. There it goes. That's one fish on. That's one fish on right there. It doesn't look super big. Might have a small Wells catfish on there. 40 feet. We are boxing this cat like nothing. Like it's not even there. What up, Mo f Fish? 12 pounder, very nice. Let's keep it going. Ooh, I threw this out here as a joke. I didn't actually think we would catch something. A little perch, right on. I have it set at uh, five feet at the moment. So if you guys are wanting to know what depth uh, to fish at, is this is what I'm doing to catch fish. Nope, oh, it is going, okay. I was trying to watch the tip to see if it was really going or not. This one's a little heavy, but not massive. We might have another trophy wells on our hands. Yeah, there we go. Good wells here. Another trophy wells catfish, 37 pounds on this guy. Very cool, $2,367, I love seeing that. Big old boys, 
pulling in the big old whiskers. That's a good little fish there, he nail. So it's interesting here. If I, actually, if you're looking at the the map, there's like a deep pocket, like right in front of us. Um, so that's really interesting. I'm gonna take. Uh, I have one rod out back where we were fishing before. I'm gonna take this other one here, and I'm just gonna toss it out, maybe just towards that red bobble there, and we'll see if that's closer to where that deeper water is. Fishing Planet, I'm telling you, always figuring something out to make me smile. <laughs> Did we need a train to go over the train tracks? No. Did they do it because the attention to detail is amazing? Yes, yes they did. All right, good news is we've got a fish. Bad news is, is that Bjorn is barking the entire time. Oh no, it's another fish with muting audio capabilities. Ooh, I'm fighting this fish and I've got, ah, oh, okay. Whew. It's power, it's power is draining. And talk again, this is amazing, okay. We're uh, we're sub 90, it's, it's, it's struggling now. I, I think I know what we got on here. Train's coming through again. Hello, train. Toot, toot. Mm. Oh, it tooted at us. Toot, toot. That is amazing. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Come on, fish. Oh, it's dark now. I don't know if you noticed. It's coming straight for us. I want to zoom in, but at the same time, I want to keep, keep reeling. <laughs> Yes, buddy. Yes, buddy. Get over 25 now. 22, 18, 17, 15. He's on inside. Let's go. That's a fish. 100 pounds. I can't take this fish even with the advanced license. Gosh dang it. That's so awesome, though. That is a big fish. 100 pounds. Uh, I guess I didn't read that in the darn uh, the darn uh, licenses, but yeah, it doesn't seem like you can you can keep these fish even with even with the advanced license. But look at that fish, that is insane! Very cool. Well, we're gonna have to release this guy too because he's too big. <laughs> he's too big. All right, I think we've caught enough uh, belugas. The belugas are really cool. They give you a ton of experience. What a fight too. Um, but we have not caught too many Wells catfish over here. So I'm actually gonna pick up pick up my rod sand. We're gonna go back to the dock and uh, finish off the night at the dock. Hopefully we have good luck there. This is our time to be fishing. I can put a large minnow on one and we'll keep the other one. The other one with duck muscle meat. While we wait, I actually have this uh, three yacht, eight foot crankbait I want to try out. Is he taking it or not? I can't tell. It's a Wells catfish. Okay. <laughs> 12 pound Wells catfish on an eight aught hook. There we go. The other one's going. The 10 aught hook is going now. Little Wells catfish. Still pretty cool. That's a fish. Ooh. Ooh, can we do it? We could, we can do it. Okay. This is a big one. Oh, no. Another beluga. God, the belugas are honestly getting annoying now. I have not caught a unique Wells catfish and I really want to. Goodness gracious. This, this may be our PB. He's, he's like fighting against himself at the moment. Because if he wanted to, like, he would just go with the current, and then I would be fighting the current. 20s, we're in the 20s, gotta get below 20, come on! Come on! Oh, come on, bro. Get in here! Get in here! One more foot, that's all we needed! Oh, get in! Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh! <laughs> Seeing that giant freaking face just come out is, I'm telling you, it is hilarious to see that huge nose and the giant. Oh my god, that is it! That is it! Our number one fish, everyone! My god! My god, that is amazing! He, he beat our tarpon by one pound. 
He unfortunately isn't going to get us in the top 100 on the leaderboard, but $4,330 we're not going to be able to keep, uh, but 2,646 XP we will. So that is amazing. That is so cool. There is our number one fish, everyone. Uh, my biggest fish I've ever caught at the moment anyway. Goodness gracious. Well done, well done, I say anyway. That is a amazing fish. I wish I could keep more of it on my darn <laughs> screen here. Oh, it's like trying to get away. That is so awesome. We'll release this behemoth back into the water. 120 pounds and you'll see that uh, here we go. That is our newest big fish, everyone. 120 pounds almost on the dot. Freaking crazy. 85 inch long beluga sturgeon. That is amazing. Seriously. So, so cool. Um, yeah. If you fish Atuba Lake, uh, is it Octuba or Atuba? It is Octuba. Okay. Golly. Because I kept seeing Atuba around here as well. So I was thrown off so much. But yeah, if you've fished this place before, let me know down in the comments. It's pretty fun. I really wish I could get into a Wells catfish, but for some reason we keep catching the belugas, which I thought would be difficult to catch, but evidently not. <laughs> or just keep catching them. Um, but yeah, really fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did or you found it helpful in any way, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already to the BZ Hub. Become a hubster, everyone. And like like I've said before, join us on our live streams every Wednesday night, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central here on YouTube. Also have Half and Half Mondays, which we play Half Fishing Planet, Half Hunting. Uh, so yeah, join us then as well. Same time, same place. Uh, this was a lot of fun, everyone. Can't wait to see you all on a live stream day, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So that's it. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Happy holidays. And as always, remember, everyone. We're one planet, one family, game on.